Hey everybody, welcome back to Ready Steady Play. I'm joined by Chris and Ben again, and uh, we're playing another one versus many game. Yeah, we're playing Conan this time. Conan. 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 So this is um, a game from Monolith Games, or a game publisher, <laughs> and uh, the designer's French. So it's a sort of uh, it's not a Euro game though, is it? This is not. This is not <laughs> a couldn't be more. Couldn't be less of a Euro game. Well, it's it is very heavy on resource management. That's dice. The resources are these crystals, and this is basically Crystal Manager, the game yeah. with a backdrop of some kind of board fighting thing. <laughs> with a Conan theme. Uh, yeah. It's completely it's, irrelevant. It's a Conan at all times. Game with with resource management as the yeah essentially. So what we're going to do nice. is we're just going to talk you through some of the rules, and we're going to talk you through um, just like sort of the basic actions and stuff like that. We won't go into too much detail about how everything works because hopefully we'll be able to explain that as we go through and play the game which we'll be doing over the coming days um, but uh, Ben you're Conan Conan as you know the biggest and strongest of us you are Conan Yar. and I'm going to take on the role of Conan's trusty sidekicks Shivaris and uh, Bellet isn't that like Belly 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 it's, it's got the French check oh, no, it doesn't matter because French. she'll be dead soon because I'm playing the overlord oh and his job is to kill us all till we're super dead from it yeah, yeah. super dead <laughs> well, actually in this scenario I think it's more about just delaying you than killing you but we'll see we'll, we'll see. see yeah so of course this is a scenario based game so every scenario has a different set of objectives but the mechanics usually stay pretty much the same throughout every single one mm -hmm. um, in this particular scenario uh, we'll go into it as we play but the main objective is we have to kill this person Chris needs to stop us. We have eight turns to do it. That's in its very simple form. We'll explain how more monsters will come in as it happens. Mm -hmm. um, I'm now going to show you over here the way the uh, character sheets work. So on, a, on the hero's turn, any of us can activate in any order and we can switch between actions as we like. Mm -hmm. It's very flexible. Yeah. So, I mean, I can do something. I can do another thing. Then another character can do something else, and then it can go back to me. You know, we can switch as much as we like, but we're limited by these crystals. So we have three areas the crystals can go. This is our, <laughs> this is our uh, crystal reserve pool. This is our, crystal, this is our fatigue pool, and this is our wounded pool. So as we do stuff, we'll be putting up up here on these little action spaces, which I'll explain about in a second. And uh, w between turns, I'll come from here and go into our fatigue pool and we'll have to basically do what's equivalent to like resting to move them back into our reserve pool. If we ever take damage we'll lose crystals away into our wounded pool which is basically representing as the more tired we get the less we can actually do because we're taking damage. This can be healed and we'll, we'll show you how if it comes up later. So um, the actions you can spend the gems on are up here along the top. There are six, uh, I guess there are six actions but the main ones we're going to be doing is moving a bunch and then punching stuff with our weapons. So the uh, <laughs> so stuff, the, uh, what else? How else are we doing it? Sword. Yeah, <laughs> sword and axe punching. It's, it's how the game works. It's, it's, it's sword an puncher. amazing verb to use in combination with any weapon other than a knuckle duster. <laughs> so um, if Conan here wanted to do a attack, he would be rolling a red die. Um, the red die are the best die. There's then orange dies and. Uh, and our dies are less oh, good. I missed with that one. Okay. <laughs> and then the yellow dice. That was a really that was roll. incredibly yellow roll. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other kind of attack is a ranged attack, where you throw things at people. In this game, um, none of us can do a ranged attack because we have no ranged weapons. But some... Yeah, some You have archers. There are... Yeah, no, we have... Oh, I've are, got throwing knives. <laughs> yeah, there are some weapons that allow for ranged attacks. Oh, I can throw this spear as yeah, well. Yeah, you're throwing it. Yeah, you're talking rubbish. And I can throw this knife. Basically everything you just said. You can oh, throw can every throw. single weapon you have. <laughs> There isn't actually one weapon you can't throw. Wow. But three of them, if I throw them, then they're gone. Well, you can pick well, them back can, up again. Yeah, but I have to go they get them. They land in me. Yeah. But if so um, the other action here is the sort of generic hand action. Grabby. Grab action. The grab action or manipulate action. I, I like to call it the interact from uh, uh, button from video games. Yeah, that's essentially what it is. The it's extra square it's button. Pick up, uh, open chest, uh, drop. It, it's, it's fondle. Pick up weapon. <laughs> pick up weapon. Open door. Oh, there aren't any other doors. It? Yeah, it's the interact button from all those games you know and love. <laughs> and um, the other two actions here, you actually do. Well, we'll be performing uh, on the Overlord's turn. So this is if we're ever getting hit by an attack and we want to you know, defend against it, we'll put crystals up there to uh, roll uh, that many dice, orange dice, to to block against it. 
And uh, this this one over here is the reroll thing. So if we ever don't like a result, we can actually put crystals up there to reroll particular dice. So um, at the end of the turn, we're going to have a bunch of things up here, and then afterwards they'll move down here to the fatigue pool. And then the way we get them back is we have these different stances, which is up here on the right of the, board, of the uh, character sheet. Uh, there are two states. There is the aggressive state and then there's the cautious state so in aggressive state there's no limits but you only get two crystals going to your recover uh, reserve that's not enough crystals no it's it's never enough crystals two crystals is not enough crystals to do anything you're making a pitiful attack but maybe. if more characters are dead so so if one of one of us actually dies then everyone will start getting three crystals and if two of us die the last person will be getting four crystals every time mm -hmm. but you can change your state to be in the cautious state, which means you get five crystals uh, as the base number. The disadvantage of this is you can't do any actions apart from your guard and your reroll. Yeah. You have your reactions, not your actions, yeah. basically. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. You can't move or attack or... So uh, there's, uh, there's this line of stuff down here. Um, these relate to skills you can perform. So Conan can swim, Conan can leap, Conan can climb, Conan can smash through walls, which is great. And Conan has an ability where he can sort of, I call it a cleave from D&D. Cir circular motion. Circle. Circular attack. Circular, circular attack. It basically circular means attack. that any leftover damage from his target... Whirlwind attack. Uh, leftover damage from his attack is transferred yeah, to anyone else in the room, basically. Any other enemy in the room. Exactly. So um, these all have numbers, though. And this brings me on to encumbrance, which is what the items or equipment is used for. So the equipment uh, add various dice to various rolls. Uh, so whenever Conan does an attack, he's going to be adding one of these dice to a roll. Uh, when Conan defends, he'll be adding these dice to his rolls. Um, and this is his base armor that he'll be rolling anyway. He doesn't have to use a crystal for that. Um, the weight limit in the bottom right is how much all the stuff weighs. And this is totally at, uh, total, totaling currently to six encumbrance. Uh, Conan has a limit of 12, but because he's holding six things, he's actually unable to swim at the moment. And if he was to carry more things, more of his actions will be taken away from him because he'll be carrying too much stuff and not be maneuverable enough. Um, the way the movement works is this big two here is the base movement for Conan. Um, that's essentially a free move action at the beginning of every turn. And if, uh, if Conan does anything before that, he actually loses that free movement. Uh, if he's carrying too much stuff, so here there's an 8 and a 10, that number will be reduced by minus 1 and minus 2, respectively, if he's carrying uh, too many items. And um, that's everything for the character sheets. Um, I'll show you a contrast to another character sheet here, uh, just to give you an idea that, you know, different characters have different, some have different movements, some get different dice for their basic actions, and everyone has different abilities, but we'll explain Even them. Even uh, different uh, sizes of their crystal pool here you can see Conan has 11 crystals but this man only has 10 oh yeah that's this number down here yeah there you go so Conan has like essentially more hit points yeah and more action points yeah. in a way so we have this really cool DJ deck over here so this is um this won't be here when we actually when we actually play the game so the way um Chris yeah. is going to be activating people is he'll he'll have a pool of crystals and a pool of crystals he can't use uh, at the beginning of every t turn, he'll be getting this many crystals from here. So he'll be getting five at the beginning of every turn. And he can spend the crystals on two things. To clarify, the green means go spend them, and the red <laughs> means don't spend these. Yes. Oh yeah, of course. Spend this them. is my fatigue, that's my, what are they called? Reserve. Reserve, Reserve, yeah. fatigue. Reserve. Um, So Chris can spend these on two things. He can spend them on, you know, defensive and rerolls, like especially if he's being attacked. Just like you guys. And he can also spend them to activate the guys in the uh, track here. So the tracks will have, each space has a number. So if he wanted to activate the archers, which are over here, he can activate both of them by paying the relevant cost, which is three crystals into his um, fatigue pool. And then he takes the archers, moves them there. And then he can do an action and a movement with move, the archers. Move and attack. Move so and move an attack. Move up to two and they can then make their attack, which is two yellow dice at range. Yeah. So I'll, I'll show wow, you that's more. that's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't. They get an extra. They get an extra attack from shooting down. I think. Yeah. So yeah. as long as we're not up on the walls. Yeah. Yeah. Tall yeah. Wall. So um, if Chris wanted to activate them again, he totally could. But he'd need five crystals now, or five gems. Mm -hmm. But so now he. But as you can see, the the dark demon or whoever was here. Oh, the yeah. hyenas got one cheaper. So he. I mean, he still can't afford the hyenas, but he could activate one of these guys instead. Mm -hmm. Um, so we said they can move and then attack, and he can boost their movement, I think, up here with this space. 
Yeah. And, um, they yeah. can, well, he does that to give them an extra space of movement. Yeah. yeah. So the much um, in the same way that we boost our movement with these characters. Exactly. Yeah. So the the actual uh, I don't know what these are called enemy tokens. Um, enemy tokens. Oh, that was a word for the I can't remember the word is. But they use tiles. So it's tiles. tiles. So yeah, the the tiles here they have a, a, f a bit of information. So this is how far the hyenas can move. They can move five, which is pretty fast. Well, they're hyenas. They have four legs. Um, this is their armor. So at the moment they have zero. So any successes we make against them will just be straight up damage. Uh, unless unless Chris puts Chris uh, gems into his uh, guard space at the top there, and finally this is their attack. So the hyenas will be rolling one orange die to attack. Um, anything that has this, so you can see this this arrow symbol here with the die. It means they get that many dice and they can re-roll those dice. Um, finally, just like the characters, uh, the bad guys also have some abilities, and we'll explain them as we go along. Uh, there's also a recruitment, a uh, reinforcement cost for the hyenas here. Uh, there'll be a point in the game where this tile will be triggered. And this tile is essentially a, a re for this scenario, it's a reinforcement action. Yes. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in other games, there, there are many of these. You can use two of these tiles and they'll trigger certain yeah. things that Chris can choose when he wants well, to trigger Well, this them. one, it lets me reinforce minions, which would be the archers and, and or hyenas. And, and it also let me unpetrify one of these... Mm. Petrified creatures, which is specific for this scenario. That's specific for this. That's why we've put these uh, the tiles underneath them, so that it's pretty visually obvious which ones are not actually in play yet. If I was to unpetrify my giant snake, I would put this on, pop this onto the uh, onto my uh, river, river, That's the, the river, river. <laughs> the river, and uh, then he's he's a river of basically. evil. <laughs> River of Evil? River cool. Sticks. It's called the River Sticks. River Sticks. So, um, yeah, and th like Chris was saying, he also has some non minions. What's the opposite of a minion? Um, I think Monster. A called, major. Called <laughs> he's called a leader, and they're monsters. Yeah, they were leaders, and they were monsters, and they were minions. That's oh, the okay. Yeah. So, leaders and monsters. I can only have two monsters in this scenario at a time. So, uh, if, I had, if I had two of them on the board, I couldn't unpetrify one of these gotcha. until one of these guys was gone. Oh, okay. So, essentially, this is sort of a game of uh, varying degrees of difficulty. I mean, uh, monsters are very challenge levels activating and coming to eat us while we try and kill this man. So, um, the, the main difference between these guys is, first of all, Chris can't bring these back in if they die because they don't have a, a reinforcement cost, but they do have more than one health. So every monster unless specified has one health. Mm -hmm. Every bad guy has one health. Um, we have a turn track over there, which is also the health track for particular monsters. So the turn track will tick up and we have eight turns to do what we need to do. And the health uh, the, the the markers for the individual monsters and the leader will take down as we do damage to them. And, uh, so the demon starts on six health. Yeah. Uh, Skullfuss, who's the uh, the quarry, is on five health. And at the end of round eight, if they haven't killed him yet, my incantation will finish, and I will become a vulture and fly away, <laughs> laughing and cawing. <laughs> Conan, his pitiful allies. Kaka. That's a cr more of a crow than a vulture, oh. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, says a vulture. Oh. No, tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> I'll turn it into a, into a blue jay. I think that's yeah. what I'll choose to turn into. Blue jays are pretty. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, I'll be a blue jay. So that's all the rules. Um, there's some. He's got spells he can cast. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about those he later. Spells. Yeah. He starts off with one in play, but that just gives him a bit of extra armor. Yeah, there's a few elevation rules. There's some like we we have some additional allies we can trigger, but we'll we'll explain That's them right. as we go with the relevant skills for our character. Yeah, there are chests right. you can open as well, as you can yeah. see here. And they'll give us loot from this rubble. This, this rubble takes earlier. this rubble takes longer to move through unless you have a climb ability. But it's all relatively. It'll, you you'll come up in play, and we'll, we'll we'll handle that as it comes up. For sure. So uh, if you guys are excited to see us play through this and see what happens, please make sure you come back tomorrow to check it out. We're going to get started with the hero turn. Uh, it has dice and gems. Dice and gems. <laughs> you know, Why wouldn't you love it? Gem, <laughs> gem manager of the game <laughs> has gems. Can't confirm. The two favorite things in board games are dice and gems. <laughs> well, there you go. It's got everything you want. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Plus a giant snake to boot. Yeah. Yeah, you snake is, uh, there he is. He's oh, it's awesome. Angry. He looks particularly cool on that camera right there. He's like, what the angle you got on that there. Extremely angry. <laughs> he is quite angry. Um, but also, at the moment, Living Stone, not alive. Yes, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So, uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more of that. So, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Um, leave a comment on below if you've uh, played this scenario and you know what's going on, or if you've tried Conan and haven't tried this scenario yet. 
And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, if, if you like the series, throw a like on the video. If you don't, um, then, uh, you know, watch some more before you make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Thanks yeah. for watching. Bye.